Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would make a little state of the channel, channel updates video since it is the beginning of the year and a lot of people seem to like to do little channel update videos this time of year. Just to kind of overview what I accomplished last year with my channel and my goals for the upcoming year. Okay, so for 2023, my goal was to do at least one video a month, and I started in April, so I had nine months to work with, and while I did get 11 videos done, I missed September entirely. I just did not get any videos up in September, but honestly, I feel like I still did pretty well considering I did do videos eight months of the year and 11 videos at that. So I feel like I did a good job there. There were some unfinished videos that I had started and never got around to finishing either. I just haven't taken the time to do the editing or in some cases the outfits aren't done. Um, I was making Christmas outfits for Mio and Tyler. I was making a very complicated Sugar Plum Fairy outfit for Tyler that involved a lot of pieces and far more hand stitching than I had anticipated initially. So unfortunately, I actually got burned out. Because I started the outfit in November thinking, oh, I'll have plenty of time, I'll get it done nice and early. And it wound up taking a lot longer than I thought. I got sick for almost two weeks in December, so I wasn't working on it as actively. A lot of it, because a lot of it was hand stitching and taking a while, I wasn't able to record footage in the most efficient manner. Because, like, I do want some footage of each step of the process, and there's some parts of the process where. I've already done half of it off screen and have not um, fully done it or er, haven't recorded footage of that particular step. So still working on that. Why is my model being a little wonky? The lip sync is just not happening and the eyes are just not happening. Anyway. and. Because of delays with his outfit and also like like the candy cane themed outfit I was doing for Mio kept having little hang-ups where it wasn't going to work the way I wanted it to so I kind of had to change the idea on the fly to the point where I don't know the outfit just wasn't matching anywhere remotely near my <laughs> original vision for the outfit so I wasn't 100% certain what I wanted to do with it really. So while he did have a functional, like, yes, this is identifiably candy cane colors outfit in time for Christmas, that still wasn't even truly complete. Like, it was missing neckwear, it was missing a waistcoat. Like, he, he was, you know, at least clothed and, like, not half naked. Um, Tyler did get to that point eventually. I don't remember if I finished a shirt before or after Christmas. I think I finished it before. Um, yeah. Anyway, their outfits didn't get completed in time. I got burned out. So I've just, for right now, I'm just kind of moving on to other outfits for them. And for myself, actually, I'm working on a cosplay Right now, actually, um, the lining for it is in the washing machine. It just needs to be dried and ironed, and then I can progress on it. And an original outfit that uh, kind of falls into cosplay territory. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, one of my goals for 2013 was to say um less in videos. And I actually am saying um less. Then I was, I was having to edit it out a lot in the earlier videos, and as time has gone on, I've not had to edit out as much. So that's good. 
I've still got some ums that aren't deliberate sneaking in there. But hopefully I'll get to the point where all the ums are deliberate. Anyway, 2014. So my goals for this year. I'd like to get one crafting related video per month. At least. And I am going to specify crafting because out of the 11 videos I did last year, five of them were unboxing doll review videos. And I don't have a problem with the fact that five of them were unboxing videos. I have a problem with the fact that there was only six crafting videos. So. Because, like, you know, my hobby does involve crafting for the things I'm unboxing. And the reviews you know, are important because, you know, people do want to see, like, oh, what's this particular product like? Like, what's this particular doll like? Do I want it? You know, so I feel like I the unboxing videos are putting out valuable information. But, you know, I want this to be a crafting-focused channel. This isn't really a review channel. So I need to up the quantity of crafting related to the product quantity of unboxing. Incidentally, I'm also going to be posting an unboxing video the day I post this. Oops. Anyway, I would also like to increase production value in some of my videos. Like, I do want to keep most of them fairly simple because having them be simple means they get done. But I do want to increase my editing and production value skills as I go, and also utilize my model better. Because, like, I know there's ways to make it so I can have, like, special effects or do, like, outfit changes at the click of a button and stuff like that, or add props that I can do something with. But I'm not 100% certain how it works. Um, apparently I need a stream deck for that. Maybe. I, I've heard there's ways to do it in Unity. I don't know. I don't know anything about this VTuber stuff, really. Uh, to be honest, I only really follow one other VTuber, and he's a pol politics VTuber, so... Yeah. I'd like to do a couple streams at some point. Like, I don't think streams are going to become a regular thing for me, uh, unless this were to become my full-time job somehow, like being a content creator for YouTube and making videos for you guys to watch or like tutorials or something. So I don't think streams are going to be a regular thing, but I would still like to do, you know, one or two. So my, my goal for the year is, you know, get one stream in there. And like I alluded to, I do want to increase the variety of stuff I've got going on because yeah I'm starting to get back into wanting to make cosplays one of which I've been wanting well the character I've been wanting to cosplay for a few years now but I don't know just between the pandemic and the fact that until December I had basically one hour each way commute every day for two years and that was kind of draining all of my will to and capacity to make a costume like but I like to cosplay I like making costumes it's fun and I want to start documenting and sharing the process more and I just really hadn't had the energy to really do something beyond just like a very simple like oh here's a shirt for Dale from Rescue Rangers that I already have just in my wardrobe because that was the shirt that got me into Hawaiian shirts as a kid um, so let me make ears and tails so that way my boyfriend and I can be Chip and Dale, and he can wear his closet Indiana Jones costume, and I can wear my closet Dale outfit, and, you know, like, stuff like that was, like, little closet cosplays like that 
were really the only new things I'd been adding since the pandemic started. Well, I did add a Christmas Ren, but I never even finished the shorts for that one. Yeah. I guess that's another video I could do. But yeah, I'm starting to feel the drive to actually make new things on that front. And that's making me happy, because I haven't been able to do that in a while. And I also, like, made myself, like, a little capelet, just to have a little capelet, because I saw some fabric that I thought was beautiful, and I was like, you know what? I could go for a capelet in that. So, yeah, hopefully I'll be getting a bit more of a variety of stuff done, and hopefully I'll be able to get my shit in the box and document that for you. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.